This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the side-by-side -side camera comparison between the Galaxy S9 and the iPhone X. Now, what makes this camera comparison different from any of the other ones on YouTube? Well, two main things, and that is one, I do not try to do anything else than a normal person would do. So I like to leave everything on automatic. None of these things have been altered. I will tell you that I can take better photos than any of these by simply messing with the settings, but I like to leave it out of the box automatic how exactly it takes photos so that it's the same that you would most likely take photos with as well. But two, I will say this, that the only thing I do is each uh, phone gets two photos and I pick the best one out of the two and then that's what shows up on here. So let's go through them. We have eight different categories and we're gonna find out which one really is the best overall. And we're starting off with the indoor shot. Very simple, indoor shot, which one's gonna be really better overall. And immediately you'll notice a difference and that is with these two, you definitely see that the iPhone is brighter in this instance and the Galaxy S9 is darker. But let's see what that goes to detail. So when we zoom in and we see the different signs here, the iPhone actually doesn't lose as much detail except in the whites, which is to make sense, obviously. If the iPhone is brighter, it loses some details in the bricking at the bottom over here. But overall, in terms of sharpness, both are really good, both are really light. And for this one, it is going to be a close one. I would say it's a preference shot. What do I mean by that? I mean, overall, I think it depends on what you like and look for in your photos on which one you're gonna go with. On all of these, let me know in the comment section down below on each category, which one you thought was better, and then we'll see which one your winner is as well. So that is uh, for the indoor, I would say it's about a tie. Now we're gonna go to low light outdoor. So low light outdoor is a really uh, tried and true example. We always used to use this as low light, but people requested for an inside one too, so that's the next one. In this one though, I would say it's pretty handedly the S9 for being uh, not only brighter, but clearer. It looks overall sharper in the image than the iPhone 10. Now I will give the iPhone 10 a little bit better job of controlling the light source or what we call lens flare because the S9 has more lens flare than the iPhone 10 does, but that also allows it to pick up more light. Uh, so overall, the details on each uh, area is definitely better overall seen. Now, it's not just brighter, or again, we would call this a tie, but it is also better overall in terms of the look and the detail in the photo. So for that reason, I will give it to the S9 for low light outdoors. Now, in inside. Uh, inside was a really interesting one because I know this iPhone 10 photo looks bad, but the other one looked worse. And again, all I did was I gave my wife the phones on these ones and just said, take a photo and do it. Take two photos uh, and you know I'll sort them out later. That's all she did. Uh, but yeah, the iPhone 10 pretty handily loses this one because although it is brighter, it is washed out and definitely overexposed, especially on my face. Uh, now, in terms of clarity, you can see uh, a bit of uh, clarity in both overall. As I would say, the S9 does a little bit better job in sharpness, although both, I would say, aren't perfect in this one. Again, you would change the EV for a low light photo indoor to get a better result, but on automatic, this is what you get. And overall, yes, the color, just the better all, if you're gonna post one of these photos on Instagram, Twitter, wherever, a Snapchat, you're going with the S9 one, uh, although Snapchat will screw it up, but yeah, it's gonna be a better overall shot with the S9. So for low light, overall with this new aperture that the S9 has, the S9 does take a better low light photo. Now, what about the lens blur effect? That portrait mode, that uh, selective focus, whatever you wanna call it, these are the blur the background photos and it's quite interesting here. So first of all, I will say this, one thing I find quite interesting about this is the iPhone uh, is way more saturated in this photo, which we don't see later on with the color reproduction photo. But with this one, the iPhone made a Deadpool and myself darker uh, colors than they actually are. Uh, overall, uh, Deadpool isn't as washed out as the S9 did, but the iPhone uh, did give me a tan. 
and it also uh, definitely made red, uh, Deadpool redder than the actual shirt is. If you know Deadpool's actual color, it's in between these two. Uh, but let's get to the overall blurriness. So overall, when it comes to the blur in the background, these two do a really good job. However, I will say this, that uh, the iPhone uh, by default just blurs out to the extreme as where Samsung leaves you in the middle by default. I didn't change this. I could have made the uh, background more blurred on the Samsung phone, but again, automatic. So this is how it came out. Overall, uh, I do like my uh, hair and beard better on the iPhone 10. Uh, so I will say that, but again, if we're just going off of the blur effect, I think both are pretty much on par with each other, but I do like the overall result from the iPhone 10 better on this one. So we'll give this one to the iPhone 10. So, so far it is two to one. And now how about the front facing blur effect? Well, in terms of a front facing camera, You'll find out later when we get to the regular selfie, this is the blur selfie. So both phones can do it. The S9 and S9 Plus can both do it. For the iPhone, only the 10 can do it. Uh, however, both have imperfections. On the iPhone, it is the bottom right side and actually even the right side here where it doesn't quite blur out the right section. And on the Samsung, it's the same thing right here on the lower left and the upper left. It just didn't get that blur. Uh, so overall, neither is perfect at this front blur. It's definitely not as good as the rear one. However, I will say this, that both do a great job, but the S9 is just better. It's uh, not only I feel a little bit better in terms of coloring and detail, but obviously the S9 has a much wider angle than the iPhone. So in the iPhone, you just get so much of an up close shot. And really that caused a lot of uh, darkening in this photo that was unnecessary. And I would easily post the S9 photo way better than the iPhone photo in this case. So for this one, it will go to the S9. Now we're going to go to detail. Now detail is one that galaxies have just always been done better on. If you want to typically zoom into a photo, Samsung's typically do one of the best jobs at that. And unfortunately, and I'm not saying this to be mean or anything like that, but Apple has traditionally always lost in this category. Now the iPhone 10 did worlds better uh, than the iPhone 8 if you did catch that comparison on our channel. But again, right here, you're definitely seeing just more detail, more clarity in the Samsung as we zoom into these titles. The iPhone doesn't do a bad job, but definitely in things like Kingdom Hearts, you can clearly make it out better on here. And that is the same thing as we move along the side where you can't even read the two worlds really on this side. You can read it better here. And again, as we go further and further, you can't really read HD collection on here and you can read it over here. Overall, it is going to be the S9 when it comes to detail. The iPhone just has never been the best at zooming in and getting all the detail in your shot. However, color reproduction is definitely to Apple's strength. Now, I will say uh, last year, Apple went more saturated and Samsung this year as well. As you're gonna notice, you see a lot of yellow tinting in uh, the Samsung phone in some of these shots. And it's because it's uh, focusing on warmer tone basically, which is something that I would say the iPhone does more in video, but for photos, the iPhone is definitely more natural as we go through the different skin tones on the side over here. You're getting more of what these skin tones actually are, as well as when you go to the Joker, when you go to the blue on the avatar, and definitely when you go to the white uh, on here, you're getting more overall. Again, not the detail, but just the coloring. And uh, for color reproduction, I will say that overall, the iPhone's gonna do a better job. So that's the second point for iPhone. And finally, we go to uh, the hardest selfie test you will see online. And that is our selfie comparison that basically checks to see how good the low light works for low light areas in the background and how good the bright light works for the other side. So the stair has a really harsh bright light coming down from it. And the better neutralized that is, the better the camera is in daytime. And the other side is very dark. So this helps you to see how you will be looking in nightclubs and darker areas such as that. Overall, yes, the S9 is just, again, the better overall camera. It did neutralize both the bright side and the dark side better off. Uh, you can see the more details in the door as well as uh, in the overhead shot. 
iPhone just loses a lot of detail in this, uh, as well as, again, just more brightened, whereas the S9, you just make it better out. And again, just me itself, as a subject of a selfie, I do get a much wider shot with the iPhone, but also definitely it just looks better overall, just having that more wide shot. So uh, that will be for the S9. So let's go back through all of them. So uh, this one is a tie. I would say it's your preference. Uh, some people will like the more darker dramatic. Some people like the brighter, but detail and clarity and color reduction, they're both pretty much the same. So that one's up to you. Uh, for the low light shot, I would definitely give it to the Samsung. So that's one point for the Samsung. Low light again would be going to the Samsung. So that's two iPhone X, I feel did the better overall job uh, with the color in the background, the color in the front. So that would be Apple two to one. Selfie uh, blur, I would give it to Samsung, just having the better overall selfie. And just that helps so much in this light where my face just looks weird on the iPhone with that light. Uh, so that would be three one. Four one, uh, because of the detail, just iPhone's never done that good at it. Color reduction, that would be four two. Uh, again, I just think that Apple uh, just has the better overall true to color reproduction uh, between the two phones. And finally, selfie, that would be five to two. So that is our end result for the camera comparison. I tried to have more categories, but go a little bit quicker through them. Let me know if you like this format. We will be doing it against the Note 8, as well as the Pixel XL2 coming shortly. If you haven't checked out our channel, make sure to check it out. We have the most coverage on the internet for the S9, so make sure to subscribe. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.